It's your girl, Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. You're not tuned in to something super tight. Puffin' something sticky, nigga, I roll through the light Need to hear something real just to get me through the night I'm looking for them jackets cause I know they looking shy Know I'ma get some game tuned in with super tight, yeah I get the low love from Big Bobo From the front seat, not no photos Already, baby, what it do? It's your big dog, Bobo Luciano Wanna thank everybody again for tuning in to Super Tight TV because we're back up your back going smack, 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 just like that. And I hope it feel good to you because it feel good to me. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Say, <laughs> say, I got my sexy ass, gorgeous, beautiful wife. It's your girl, Jazzy K. You know, sometimes, baby, mm -hmm. you know, we, we try to stay humble. We try. We try to stay humble. Mm -hmm. But... When you can bring legendary people into your into your home, it's hard. It's a little hard. It's hard to when I can just call a legend <laughs> and he say, "Sure, Bobo." You know what I'm saying? If don't let it go to your head, Kenny. It's big enough. This is a legend. You about to find out. Yep. For all the people out there. I've been doing my bucket list. Y'all ready for y'all history lessons? Y'all about to we about to go down through there. I'm talking to somebody that used to be a co-worker of mine. I ain't going to tell y'all where. Because y'all will figure it out. He was there before me. Mm -hmm. He's still there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all might can figure it out from that. This man has the honor of saying that he has the longest running hip-hop show in America, probably in the world. Yeah. Yeah. In, in the, the world, world Craig. Craig. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Say, I know y'all smelling me now. Y'all smell what we selling over here? I'm popping my shit. You know what I'm talking about? We try to stay humble, but I'm gonna pop my shit because because you can today. Because sometimes I can get some people y'all might can't get. But I love it though. Y'all can call y'all call me. I might put y'all on the phone. I ain't gonna say he gonna come. Yeah. But I got the world. Famous, easy, Eddie, D in the house. Yeah, yeah. Say, y'all think it's a game? Y'all think it's a game? What? It ain't no damn game with me. What's up, brother? What's up, my man? You good? Yeah, you look good. Man, man good. first of all, I love that hat. <laughs> oh, indeed. Me too. I got the Kango going. The Kango. Yeah, yeah. Man. It's real play. Indeed, indeed. How you feeling, brother? Man, um, I'm good. You know what I mean? It, you know, a couple things have happened, but uh, to be here, man, it's just what the doctor ordered. Yes, I'm glad you're here, man. Indeed. Take your mind off of indeed, your indeed. worries. You indeed, know what I mean? Indeed. That's what we're here for, because I... I had you thinking about something completely different. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> you know me, brother. No, I know. I, I know. had you saying, what that boy talking about? I don't I know. know. I know. But say, you know, it's women first. Indeed. I love for my wife to get it started and, you know, dig down through your history and figure out everything about you because I like to learn as well. And I'm pretty yeah. sure my, my audience likes to, you know, learn as mm -hmm. well. Hey, what's up, fam? I need y'all to, you know, subscribe to the channel. Because it ain't every day you're going to get this exclusive content like this. Absolutely. So, baby, you ready to get it started? I'm ready. I'm ready. You do so, it. So, Mr. Easy Eddie D. Yes. So, we like to start from the very, 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 very beginning. We okay. don't do this uh, American history where you just start in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> His story. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, so why don't you tell everybody where you're from? I, I'm originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah Cincinnati, Ohio. Um Moved here like in 81, okay. something like that. Um, I graduated from high school in 79. Mm -hmm. So, uh, What high school did you go to? Finneytown High School in Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. Um, That's yeah. a musical town up there, right? Oh, well, you know it. You know, yes. James Brown did a lot of his recordings from King Records, Bootsy Collins. Yes. Then you got Dayton, which is... Like going to Denton mm. from Dallas, and that's you know Heat Wave. Yes, um, 
uh, well, Clinton's Detroit, but uh, Heat Wave. I can't even think of all the groups out like mm-hmm. uh, Dayton. We're just, we're just Ohio, period. Yeah, yeah. The Shy Lights. Players. The Shy Lights. Players, yeah, baby. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. Uh, OJ's. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 mm-hmm. a lot of good. Yeah. Yeah. Good the water's tasty. Too. The water's tasty. I was about to say, is that what it is? <laughs> you know, that's what it is. <laughs> the water's tasty brings up that <laughs> talent. Indeed, indeed. So, I just, go ahead, baby. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. So, um, tell everybody what it was like growing up in Cincinnati. Uh, it was interesting because, um, you know, I lived from, the, you know, born, well, I lived in Lincoln Heights, which is an area. Then we moved to Madisonville. And from there, those were all African areas, brown people, you know, mm-hmm. black people. And uh, moved to Finneytown, which was all white. Like, it was like. Wait, but hold on a like, second. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what you doing, mom? And, like, like, and my parents didn't tell us. You know what I mean? We just was moving to, from you know the kind of inner city to uh, a the suburb. Burbs. Yeah, the, the burbs. burbs. Mm. Yeah, like we moved. We had like a, a half acre yard with a creek at the end of it and woods you know what I mean so it was uh moving on up. yeah it, it pretty much so but uh it was funny because the uh the street I lived on they did they practiced that term redlining where they put all mm-hmm. the so uh we all lived on this one street North Hill Lane pretty much all the people of color in Finneytown and you know we made it happen I had to I told people like it was the funnest time of my life, like really, because you know this is back when teenage dances, roller mm-hmm. skating, oh, yes. um, you know, uh, the, the party was live. You know, wasn't I mean? life great back then, bro? Man, come on, man, I feel so sorry for these kids now. Yes. Man, you know, seriously, they don't know the joy of a block party. Sock hops, hey, where's House the last party? time people even had a slow dance? They don't do it like you know that. I'm you know, know. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Well, like, no, no, like you're saying, like even in the club. Yeah, they don't, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. Even play yeah. Slow yeah. Music yeah. No yeah, it's crazy, man. Like, so you know, we had that that you know, it was about the the the, the conquest of these you know pretty girls yes. and just you know like you know just I remember uh, this is back in the days when you know. You know, you want me to blow your mind? That kind of talk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Baby, I come blow here, your mind. Yeah, blow your mind. And <laughs> that what kind of silly. Yeah, rock you know. your world. Hey, we just got that rapping to him. That's it, man. That was it, man. That was it. So let me rap a tasty. You know, indeed. And so it, it was. You know, it was a lot of fun. Um, I always collected music. You know what I'm saying? So I was always, you know, digging into crates before there was such a thing. Mm-hmm. So. Um, Music was just, you know, I used to sleep with the transistor radio, you know, under the, you know, in, in the covers with me, you know, I was, music was what I just cared about. I mean, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I, um, I've got two, okay, I've got um, two sisters and two brothers, and one of my brothers just passed away. Oh my God, yeah, uh, two days ago. So was he living here with us? No, I'm he's sorry, in Cincinnati. Oh yeah, all, every everybody else is in Cincinnati except for my sister. She's in Louisiana. So we get you right for you got to catch a flight. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Man, my my, my condolences indeed, to you and man. your family, bro. Oh, it's glad and to be here, seriously. Praying for you. Indeed, indeed, man. Mom indeed. and pop still with us? Nah, man. My, my father left in 91. Mm. And uh, my mother, I think, was like 2000. That's some of the, I mean, like, and hers was like in January. So the mm-hmm. beginning of this year. It's always crazy. You're going to uh, start hating January. That's yeah. how I am about December. So. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. indeed. So January, February are kind of weird, you know, but, you know, I mean, it's part of the contract. It's yeah. what, what we're here yeah. for. So You're right. You know. Scarface used to always say, you know, we, we're born dying. That's it. That's you know it. What I'm yeah, yeah. That, that's where we're headed to. So, you know. Yeah. So um, what made you decide to... Well, first Make of all, move here. Wait a minute, because yeah. I think oh. I, I, that was where I was going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it seemed like you fell in love with music before you got here. Oh yeah, yeah. Tell yeah. us about the 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 love affair with with music. Well, like <laughs> I remember, we had these teenage dances. Uh, one was called like the city would hold these dances. Um, one place is called the Apple and London Hall, and like so. Spring break, Christmas, Thanksgiving, when school was out, everybody would converge to these spots mm-hmm. and be from all the high schools in the city. Yeah. And it'd just be like, 
oh my goodness. And there was this DJ named Lincoln Ware. I think he's still on the radio to this day in Cincinnati. And um, I would uh, go to the to the, these events and things, and I would never dance. I just look at the DJ. Yeah, you like and, me. You know what I mean? Just look at the <laughs> DJ because what I noticed was he put on something like I don't know, uh, to be real or or a uh, flashlight. Yeah, and. I look back at the crowd, the crowd go berserk, and I'd be like, I look at the DJ, look at the crowd, I said, oh, that's some power there. Mm -hmm. And that's what I, 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 you know, being a puppeteer, man, I thought, yes. I thought that was what it was. And, you know, I, that was in the back burner. Um, my first, I wanted to be a professional soccer player. Okay. Football. That, that's, that was what I really, really strived for. And uh, Did you play? Yeah, yeah. I was like the first. I hope so. Yeah, I was the first. <laughs> I didn't play till I was on my first team. So I was a junior high school, okay. and uh, I made my high school team. And they were had been state champs like 77, 70. You know, we we were big in Cincinnati okay. in Ohio as you know, and we were a small school. We used to tear up on everybody. Mm. But I, I worked real hard at that, and you know, I made the team. And um, yeah, it was, it was that, that was a big thing for me. It was it was like some. Uh, not not Rosa Park sitting on the you know get you know that but it was Up you know there. it was the first amount you know mm -hmm. first one to even you know and the next guy that of color on the team was years later. You That's know what I'm about to say. So the high school wow. was multicultural, or just a white um, school? Yeah, um, just a white school. Mm. Yeah, just a white school. Yeah. How many how many blacks you think went there? Uh, probably uh, less than ten percent. Oh hell what yeah! Scale. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I'm thinking like um, <laughs> close now. Point five. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. right? Right. No, it was, it was, it's probably um, <clears throat> seventy to a hundred. I would think. Wow. Total. That, huh? It's total. Total. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So, Ooh, that's scary. Yeah. I mean, and I, I'm I'm being generous. I think. That's how I feel when I went to North Texas. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, man, yo, Ooh, I was like, shop. What the fuck was that? Shop, yeah, you know? very cultural yeah, shop. Yeah. You know, but and one thing I always fit in wherever I, you know, it wasn't no, you know, I was a weird kid. I used to collect stamps, used to collect coins, yeah, comic books. Uh, you know, I was always a collector. Yeah. But, oh, that's you know, not weird. Well, you know, for people of color, fourth grade, and you collect the stamps, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That ain't well. you, do, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I, so. I we used to collect stamps too down here. Yeah. I, it's, we used to put them in these little books from, uh, oh, what's the word? What's that, what's that stone? It's in, it's something. Oh, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we come back the same kind of stamp collection. Maybe. My mom used to have puzzles. <laughs> put them on the sponge. Yeah, yeah, put them in the book. Put them on the sponge. Put them in the book. Y'all yeah. remember those days? Mm -hmm. Man. Yeah, so, you know, I was into that. I was into <laughs> magic, all kind of stuff like that. You know what I mean? I, I, I wanted to broaden my horizons because yeah. um, being back where I was before, you know, wasn't nobody trying to, you know, mm -hmm. think outside the box. You know what I mean? So, Were you a reader? Um. Not so really. You know what I mean? I love reading. I love reading, but my focus, like, I can't just, you know. Yes, you yeah, like me. I just, you know, I do more oratorially, you know, when someone's, you know, an audio book. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Thank God for the audio book. Let me book. tell you now, I love me a good audio book yeah. now. Indeed, indeed. I, I still like holding a book and yeah, reading it, but the yeah. audio books make it where it's doable. Indeed. It's like, you know. When you get just, busy. Yeah, that's the same mm -hmm. thing like having an album. Or right. CD, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, Just listen to it. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, right. beautiful. Indeed. So, so back mm -hmm. to where we were going. Yes, <laughs> we went on. We coming from uh, Ohio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What made you decide? That, did your family move, or did, did you decide to? Nah, man. Um, I was working uh, at this place. Uh, Thank God it's Fridays, and I lost my job. -G yeah, T A G I F. Mm -hmm. And I lost my job, and my mother was like, "Okay, look, you're." Your um, uncle is taking your brother back down to Houston. My brother's living in Houston. Mm -hmm. And so why don't you just go down there with them? I was like, fuck it. And yeah. left just like that. Like three days later, I You're went to Houston. There. And I was, that was it. I was gone and went to Houston and stayed there for the summer. And that shit was way too fun. They had 
bone shakers, rhinestone mm. rings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These clubs, and we, you can go out seven nights a week in Houston. You can go and, out and, seven. And it was crazy. I love yep. Houston. Yeah, it, it was crazy, man. And, and But I couldn't get around. So I left from there and had family here in Dallas and came to Dallas. Like I say to the summer in Houston, and from there I came to Dallas. How was the culture shock from you going from Ohio to uh I know I know you say it was fun. It was but... uh, it, you know, because there was uh, my friends, my brother was here, another kid, Curtis was here from Cincinnati, my friend Russell was here from Cincinnati. So we just, you know, we kicked it all together. They made we went, it easy. Uh, yeah, yeah. And when I moved to Dallas, it was I can't even tell you how um I don't know, spiritual or like the, the very, okay, so <laughs> I take the bus <clears throat> and come to Dallas and my cousin's boyfriend picks me up and he takes me home. <clears throat> well, home was right behind Carter High School. Okay, Oak Cliff. Oak Cliff, right, but they lived on Mill Stream and from the Carter High School was the same colors of my high school in Cincinnati, mm. Indy Town. Same colors. So I was like, oh, okay, that, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. But that night, he said, Myron told me, rest in peace, my man. But he said, uh, I'm going to show you how Dallas does it. And he took me up to Pizzazz. Right down the, the, the street. I'm just the first. I night. ain't been here. In no, I ain't even been here <laughs> an hour. <clears throat> you know? Can't wisdom roll. Come on, man. We went. And we didn't even go in. We went to the parking lot because it was packed. I mean, you couldn't even get in the club. It was so, you know. Yes. And I sat there and I looked at that. And I could hear you share on the radio. Mm -hmm. And that moment, I said I, to myself, I wonder what you Shay had on the BD, you know, because I thought I could do it better. Yes. You know what I mean? I just, you know, how you get that. Oh, you're coming you know, from up there. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, oh, man. Because you could hear what was going on in the club and on the radio. Yes. Yeah. Man, I never saw nothing like that in Cincinnati. Like, I was like, I done found my place. This is it. You can do that here in a beautiful time when we used to just yeah. cruise Camp Wisdom back on, from man. the car wash to, on, to, to the Pizzazz parking Come lot. On, man. And the movie theater was over there, Aquarius. Come on, man. Man, we used to have a good time. Man, it, it, Early it, 80s. Bone shit. Not bone, but um, uh, Bernard's 2. Yes. Studio 67. Yes. The Cliff Club. Yes. Like all these things. Oh, mm -hmm. Crest Theater. All this Come stuff, on, man. You know what I mean? And I was just, you know, it was crazy. And I, I, I told myself, like, okay, I'm going to be a DJ. And from that, when I decided that's what I was going to do, everything started just. Everything changed. People people started coming into my life that, you know, um, made it possible. You know what yep. I mean? Like, yep. um, I met this kid, Troy, uh, the master mixer. And he's the one who took me to K-N-O-N. But mm. he taught me how to DJ. Because he, did, you know, it wasn't, everybody was, you know, scratching back then. And I was like, nah, I want to, you know, blend it. He said, I do blending. I was like, blending? And man, I started rocking, rocking them records like that. Like, you know, what people call mashups. I've been doing since 84, yeah. oh, you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Like, and, but this guy took me to K-N-O-N and, you know, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it took me to Kano in, and that was the beginning of it right there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So when you got the Kano in, mm -hmm. let's talk about that. Yeah. Day Chaos was there, huh? Nah. Uh -uh. That was before Day? Yeah, oh yeah. What was that guy's name? Craig that was? Taylor. Already? Yeah. So it, it was Craig Taylor was the um, station manager. And even before then, I, I only spent like maybe one or two shows on this show, but it was the first hip-hop show in Dallas, period. It was Cisco Soul and the Party mm. Patrol. <laughs> Cisco Soul. Man, I remember that. Party Patrol. Cisco Soul and the Party Patrol. Yes. And they had like five DJs. It was Ice-T, Scratch Master FDS, or Dallas Scratch Now. Um, yes. Troy, um, Master Mixer, and then I got down there, and this other kid, Captain Kid, I think that was his name. But... <laughs> Captain Kid stole this mixer from out the control room, and from that, they uh, canceled the show. And that's why Cisco mm -hmm. Soul and Pipe Patrol went off the air. And um, from that, you know, I ended up you know, meeting Nippy, and that was it then. Shout out Nippy Jones. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, the, man, those days. Man, I miss those days. I know, man. It was crazy, man. It, people don't know. 
if you wasn't there, I just you just missed a, a glorious period in time. Like mm. it was, I ain't never had so much fun, and and so many things and so many people to respect. Even mm -hmm. like the the competition, you know what I mean? Like we respected, like whether it was rock, yeah. you know, uh, and Snake it's and Big Island. not like that now. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it was Snake and Big Island. I had like like you know, I know what good is. I can't you know, can't you know, knock their hustle or or their skill level because, look, Rock, Doctor Rock is a bad bad brother. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, Snake. Shout is, out to is, Jay is, Talk is, about the first time you heard Snake. All right, so, because <laughs> um, <clears throat> I remember first time I heard. It. Yeah, um, <clears throat> it was they had the Wednesday. Well, I first heard them on on Nippy show, but before that, um, they was doing parties at the um, Armory, mm -hmm. and I armory. never will. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. And, and Snake would be playing, you know, the, what was the 80 or the 909? Yes. Yeah. Snake beat. <laughs> that's it. That's it, man. And um, they were, it was kind of like a, not a, a competition thing, you know, because yeah. you know, it was, you know, different styles. And um, I kind of was doing this East Coast thing, and, and they were South and West Coast. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and so we had this thing going on. But I always, had nothing but love and respect for Snake because you know he was he was doing what I wanted to do and already been there and had shown you know a way to do it like his mixes was flawless you yes. know uh, the whole thing with Casanova, Big Al. Mm -hmm. Look, <laughs> I remember one time we got a uh, uh, we had some Cisco. <laughs> and <Are> you <laughs> we, we, we had some Cisco and uh, we uh, <laughs> Big Al wanted to try it. So we were like, okay, yo, man, let, let's, man, Big Al got toasted. Like he couldn't, <laughs> yo, he was no good to Snake. Snake was mad. <laughs> I was just telling Dr. Rock how that's where I learned that from. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? How some people, okay. cool. Okay. Yeah. How some people could, um, drink mm -hmm. which most most DJs I knew would yeah. not try to drink. Yeah. Especially if you were trying to mix. Indeed, indeed. And Al was one of those. He would say, Bobo, I'm not gonna drink <laughs> before I DJ. Yeah. I can't wait. That's why he wanted to DJ first. Mm -hmm. Because he wanted to be able to drink right, later. Right. Um, no, I'm talking about Al. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Al. Yeah. Al used to wouldn't 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 drink. Mm -hmm. But Snake, yeah. <laughs> he didn't give a damn. Yeah. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've always been like that too, man. I'm always stemmed. You know, I don't drink yeah. a lot or drink period a lot, but you know, I, I've been known to have a little a fatty. Yes, indeed. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. indeed, indeed. Oh so, yeah, you my brother. <laughs> indeed, indeed, <laughs> my brother. <laughs> indeed. So, so mm -hmm. can on in days. Mm -hmm. I can remember those Friday night. Those Friday uh, was it Friday during the day. Yeah, with uh, Snake. Uh, I'm not Snake, but uh, um, Nippy. Nippy and them. Yeah, because Snake and them had gotten their show, and they moved to um, Wednesdays, Wednesday nights. And the guy, Craig Taylor, um, and I would take Nippy Jones uh, mixes. And so when Snake and them left, he was like, yo, I want you to be my mix guy. And I was like, what? So I went down there, and, you know, I used to, I took over what Snake and them did. Yeah. And I did that for a minute, and I got Craig Taylor, the um, station manager, said that he's going to, you know, if they get an opening, I get my show. I get my own show. And I was like, what? And uh, there was an opening, and that's what I did down by sound. Down by sound. What year was that? Man, that was probably uh, 87. So from 1987 yeah. to this day, mm -hmm. the down by sound show. That's been in effect. Y'all hear that? And now it, it, it's it's called Knowledge Drop Lessons Top Volume Two, but it's the same concept. Yeah, same thing. And it's um, I probably was off the air two years doing from then to now, but the longest running hip hop show is long been gone. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I've, I've, I've taken that and um, but yeah, man, um, it was it was absolutely crazy at that time, and I had these kids. The IGP, the International, International Grand, Grand, Grand Posse. Posse. Yeah, they they came down and uh, yeah, the, the <laughs> name, name the members. Uh, we had um, uh, 
Kason Allah. Kason? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, gosh, I can't think. Oh, Shabazz. Shabazz. Uh, Ice Mike. Uh, Lou. Uh, Tim. Uh, Baby G. Uh, yeah. Cole Chris. Cole Chris, my um, bro. Gosh, uh, yeah, Cole Chris, the epitome of frozen poetry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. There Cole were. Chris and I went to high school together. Yeah, that's crazy. See, yeah. yeah, yeah. I met Chris at uh, um, Rocket Skating Rink on West Davis, mm -hmm. and he was in a, a, a contest with a between MC and a DJ, and you know who, whatever MC and DJ won, you know, I had to pick the best out of all of it. And he didn't win. But I was like, yo, man, you a bad, because his DJ was, you know. Yo, yeah. I said, you didn't win, but yo, man, I'm keeping contact with you. And then years later, you know, he came up, you know, IGP, and we just, it was it was like, Chris, like, the, we were, they were criminals, they were artists, they were just, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's what it was. I mean, oh, yeah. was, you know, a lot of hustlers. Um, but you know what hip hop is, man. That's you how know, it is, from know, the streets. Yeah, you know what I mean? And I wasn't, that wasn't me. But you know, I was well protected, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I remember going to stars and being shot at. Like we was uh uh yeah, shooting so, at you or just no shooting at us. Uh, yeah, we were yeah, they they we kinda they were cause causing problems and you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we, we left out the club and and took off across the street and next thing you know, pow 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 whew, we took off running. Wow. And that was yeah, that was you know, yeah. Uh, wow. There yeah. Was it somebody that they had gotten into it with there or just somebody that was... Don't know. But um, I think it was, you know what I mean? I, I think it was, but, you know, it, you know. I read it. Yeah, you know what I mean? So so yeah. didn't, so so uh, the IGP, mm -hmm. they morphed yeah. into Mad Flavor, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, Mad Flavor. And then before that, it was uh, Cole Chris, Baby G, and Hype Dog, they were the talk. Mm, I don't two remember average that. white kids. Okay, That's what talks it with two mm. average white kids, and uh, that was his first group. And then they went to Mad Flavor, and yes. that was Hype Dog, uh, Cole Chris, K Son Law, Mikey Culture. I think that was it, basically. So. And still Baby G, right? Yeah, and Baby G, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is DJ. Baby G at, man? And Austin, he's a nurse he's now. Still, yeah, yeah, he's still, yeah, 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 yeah. He's a nurse, yeah. I remember when he moved to Austin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to my brother, Baby indeed, G. Indeed. A bad, let me tell y'all something. Y'all y'all want to know mm -hmm. someone that was a badass DJ? Yeah. I'm talking about scratching. Mm -hmm. Back when scratching was like, yeah. you know, scratching is cool now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was new cool yeah. back then, yeah. The tricks and everything. So he was unbelievable. I'm talking about pulling shoe off. Yeah, oh, wow. all kind of yeah. stuff. Scratch with his dick. I mean, Scratch with his dick. Yeah, he was cold. Yeah, yeah. 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 he was cold. Yeah, he was a bad man. It, climb up on him and scratch with his feet. Yeah, he was bad. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, he was so bad. <laughs> That Luke Skywalker, mm -hmm. was formerly Luke Skywalker, mm -hmm. but Luke Rucker, he signed with Luke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they, they wanted uh -oh. him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hey, pop that. Hey, <laughs> pop that. Pop that. Hey, pop that. Hey, we want some. Yeah. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I loved it. Yeah, man. So, um, yeah, they, they ended up doing that. And, you know, because back then you had the Exodus yes. Club. And um, it was just Dallas was, once again, we're talking early 90s now. We're talking about Deep Ellum. Yeah, yeah. And, um and, you know, even, even before that, what's crazy is um, I used to be in this group, the first hip-hop group, with the fresh ones. It was D-Man yeah. and D-Ski. And we had a kind of a female entity to the group. And, like, it's funny because back then she was just the coldest female rapper. Apple. You know it. You know it. So we I would, remember. Yeah, we, we, we you know, I got this, this picture famous that they would, they took of a, it was all of us and our manager, Mr. Williams, in front of Kane and Win. Mm -hmm. And when they put, it was an uh, article about me in the Observer, but when they put the picture, it was a stock photo. They didn't know that was even Erica in the picture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they just put it out and, and named the apples in the, in the no, they, no, they they just said, it, it just said, uh, I wasn't going to suspend it. They said a, a highly dangerous DJ EZD something. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. but they didn't even know that was anybody. And yeah. It was just, yeah. 
That was crazy. Wow. So I said, you know that's Erica. And after you know, he came, I said, you know that's Erica. He was like, oh, man. So, mm-hmm. yeah. He wanted to rewrite the article. Yeah, he right. should have. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He didn't yeah, recognize him. It was crazy. So, you know, it's like all these people, you know, and later, you know, she, back then it was Apples, but she goes mm-hmm. on to become um, uh, Erica Badu. Erica yes. Badu. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So. Used to be, I mean, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, Erica. <laughs> Still is a dope yeah, ass indeed. lyricist. Okay. Indeed, yeah, indeed. Still is a yeah. dope yeah. ass lyricist. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know she could sing, you know what I mean? Me yeah. either, yeah. bro. Yeah. When I found that out, I was like, that's apples. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I wasn't I was even in Dallas yeah. when, when she okay. first came out. Mm-hmm. And they was talking about, um, but of course, they, they announced her as, as a girl from Dallas. Mm-hmm. And then when she came on with that song and I saw her, I was like, mm-hmm. yeah. That's apples. Yeah. Yep. yep. And killer TJ. Yep. Yep. That's my girl. Yeah, yeah man. man. They was dope. Yeah. I, I saw her uh, when Curly's at Curly's wake. Man, let me tell you something. Curly. Yeah. Me and you on the same wavelength because mm-hmm. I'm about to ask you about Curly. <laughs> yeah, that was my man. Um, Curly was at that time, honestly, probably the most talented dude in Dallas. Could sing. Yes. Could DJ. Yes. Could. Rap funny, rap, just yeah, you know, and he got his own show. He, you know, he, after I got the show, that's when they they had Doctor Funk. Yes, they had Curly. They yes. had me. They had um, um, Snake and them, and Nippy was still. So look, all them shows. Candle Wind was on fire yeah, back then. All them shows. Soul of the Afternoon. Yes, and uh, Patrice Carey. Yes. Yeah. So um, it was it was crazy, but Curly was such a talented brother, and uh, that's just so indeed, indeed, and uh, D Shay, D Dope, <laughs> my man D Shay. I remember the man used to uh, DJ in his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> He's a wild one, indeed. Hey, He's a, hey. in the yeah. monk rocks, in the monk, yeah, go to Hawaii. Yeah. 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 Right here, man. My boy, right like there, indeed, indeed. He, he was a bad man too, man. You know, oh what I mean? for sure, that boy can mix. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, still can. You know, he said, you know, yeah. that. Uh, yeah, still can. But He changed his name. Huh? He changed his name. It's I, not a... Uh, it ain't DJ no more? I don't believe yeah. so. It's something uh, with a Hawaiian twist yeah. to it, mm-hmm. I believe. It's, yeah. it's probably... It's, Highly likely, you believe that? Indeed, indeed, right, right, right. Are you trying to shock me? Because it ain't working. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that bro, that's a cool brother. That's indeed, my brother, indeed, man. Indeed. But, so um, yeah, good. So oh, no, you continue. Yeah. I mean, continue. nah. Um, you know, so K and O N was rich with DJs. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it was the one place that you know I want to get this in because people could come up. You could just walk up to K and O N off the street, right? Bring your stuff. And get it played on the air. You yes. know what I mean? And to this day, I still keep that policy. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. I still keep that policy to this day that if you got something that's fresh and it fit in with the stuff I play, give it to me. And if it don't, I'll direct you to where, you know, See? they play that thing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So you still on Saturdays, right? Yes, yeah, Saturdays from uh, 8 to 10. 8 to 10. Oh, that's the slot. Yeah. Nah, he, yeah, he was right before us. Yeah, because okay. yeah, he would come on until okay. at midnight. That was right. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah. come on from I mean, but you too. 10 to midnight. midnight. 10 to midnight. Yes. Yeah, 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 indeed. You remember those days? Yeah, man. Come on, man. Ooh, we had some times. Yeah, there. yeah, man. It was. Um, yeah. She was 16 years old. <laughs> See, don't you hate that kind of stuff? You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I get that a lot now, man. She was 16 up there with me, man. Hey, look, rocking yeah. it. See, I'll I'll have I'll have people come to me now, man, and be like, "Yo, man, I used to listen to you when I was in the fifth grade." And I'm looking at this grown man now. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. A lady. So it's it's amazing, man. And you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm I've got to tell you, I'm, I'm extremely proud of that. You know. Um, I ain't committed to nothing like I have hip hop, you know. For real, you know, you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been a cool, cool journey, and it ain't over. But you know, oh yeah. yeah. And um, speaking of that, explain to the uh, the family your style, mm-hmm. your show. Uh, okay, so um, the show um, is called Nas Job Less Is Taught Volume Two. And it centers around like um, I play like what I call lyricism. You know, I don't care where they're from. It, you know, uh, whether it's Houston, um, it, I don't care where it's from. Singing Hills, you know, yeah, yeah, you play the spitters. Yeah, 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 you know, and yeah. and like um, and the show centered around social issues. So I talk mm-hmm. a lot about 
things that go on in the community, in our communities, and uh, try to get people to think about um, what we want our place to be in this, you know, in, in the up and coming world. So mm-hmm. it's always been that, you know what I mean? I put like, I've said some stuff on the air that I'm surprised I'm still there. Like, <laughs> seriously, it's amazing. Like, um, you know, whether it be against the Dallas Police Department, whether it be against the Klan, whether it be whatever yeah. the issue is, you know, I'll always But that's the beauty of Ken O'Neill. Yeah. It is, man. It yeah. is. That was the beauty. Yeah. Yeah, he pulled me. I mean, I used to be there. I don't know if y'all still got it with a mm-hmm. red phone ring. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Uh, oh, shit. I'm in trouble. trouble. I'm in trouble again. Yo, <laughs> yo look, I hate it when I do that. How many, t- on, how many times did the red phone ring on you? Like, but you know what's crazy? It, 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 it never, not too much. I, I remember one time I got a, a letter from uh, Ranger Rita Uh-oh. telling us, telling me that uh, not to, I, I, can't, I shouldn't. Uh, Say anything bad about the Catholic Church? <laughs> wow, because uh, you know they they donate and blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. So I was just telling you that the um, the other day, when was that? Uh, Tuesday, I believe. Mm-hmm. My wife and I went to mm-hmm. to the building. Okay, where where where? And, uh, I'm coy over there. Yeah, yeah, and and she was she was down there with the Breakfast Brothers, mm-hmm. uh, Rick and Booker. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the Breakfast Indeed. Brothers. Shout out to the Breakfast and he, Brothers. And Ricky said, let me take you uh, on a tour of the building. Mm-hmm. You know, I went to the studio upstairs, yeah. mm-hmm. and he took me to um, Kano Inn. Mm-hmm. First person I see is Christian. <laughs> and the first thing out of Christian's mouth was mm-hmm. like, oh, wow. <laughs> he said, you remember that time the FBI came over with you? Wait a minute. Come on, son. <laughs> I said, yeah, how can I forget? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, we had, we had, you know, we doing some shout outs. You know, we had this section where we would do the penitentiary holler. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we did it first when we first started where the people from the penitentiary could call in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we started doing it where I guess they took those privileges from them where they could write letters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then people from, I'm acting like I'm a prisoner, from the free world yeah. would call and shout out to them. Yeah. And so while they would be shot, now you know how you are when mm-hmm. you're working at board. Yeah. We're doing, we're multitasking. Yeah. So I'm in the record bag and this girl is shot now. <laughs> mm-hmm. And she's saying some cold words. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And yeah. I'm like... Yeah. Ten thousand dollar fine words, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about uh, uh, somebody yeah, snitching. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, it was a big organization that yeah. that she was Ooh. talking about. Yes, Ooh. to this day, it's a big. I'm not gonna mention indeed, it. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, it was. I Matter mean, of fact, I can mention it was the Texas Syndicate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, and and they 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 that was on Saturday, mm-hmm, of course. Mm-hmm, By mm-hmm. that Monday, Christian was calling me. <laughs> I was like, what? what? I don't understand. And then I was working mm-hmm. right around the corner from Maple. Got you. Yeah. And, and they had yeah. to send those <laughs> suits yeah. Yeah. to my office. Yeah. Oh, no. And everybody in the building knew that those were officers of the law. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're coming to talk to him. Yeah. I'm like, and, 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 to, and to all y'all out there, on? I didn't say nothing. <laughs> right now. I ain't say nothing. You know what I'm talking about? That's too funny, bro. Yeah, man. man. In, in Cincinnati, we used to call them the poor ass lease. The poor ass lease. Yeah, that's a good one. That's it, the poor ass lease. Yeah. The poor ass yeah. lease. Well, we're going to get back to that because I want to tell you something about the um, prisoner thing, too. Like, I, um, we had the station in Cincinnati. Well, it was in Dayton. It was called WDAO. Mm-hmm. And we used to say it stood for white days are over. And they played number so. Yeah, yeah, it was dope. Ooh, <laughs> that is dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, I used to get a lot of letters from prisoners too, man. Yes, it was, man. It was a beautiful thing. I still got, you know, I kept them. I did, but then it just stopped, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah. Something must have happened. Yeah, yeah, something just stopped. You know, either they got out or, you know, it's just, you know, I, I don't get, you know, they used to I listen, know what it is. You know, yeah. Technology. Yeah. They they they, use, they listening to uh yeah. oh Amazon. Exactly. yeah exactly they streaming yeah. music yeah. now yeah. it's hard yeah. to get people to listen to the radio mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. it's got to be a die hard yeah. fan yeah usually yeah. one of the people from our generation mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. gonna do that yeah and um speaking of being controversial mm-hmm. I don't know if you've been watching our channel but the DOC was here yeah mm-hmm. you wrote that name down and that brother he played for us then y'all bro. Mm. I was trying to find out the other day. I was like, oh. dang, what was He's got an artist he's working with. Uh-huh. And I couldn't remember. Was, it, was he out of uh, Vegas, did he say? He's on the West Coast somewhere. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Let me tell you something. 
This is what you want to hear. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, this is what yeah, you want to yeah. hear. <laughs> you will love it, yeah, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. He it's, described it's, him as a cross between NWA, uh-huh. Ohio player. Who else? Now, who did, did he, he say? say? I NWA. Can't he did. He said uh, George Clinton, mm. NWA, and he said somebody else. But wow. all of them was just. So, yes, yes. Like that. Wow. That's I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, gonna keep, I'm gonna keep the, the lookout for him. Yeah. yeah when we, I'm, if I try to get the name. Indeed. indeed and and indeed, I shoot it to you. Indeed, when indeed. you see it, you're gonna be like, <laughs> first it's gonna throw you off, and then you're gonna we be like, like, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah I'll on, take two. On your type of yeah, time. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. That's one. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'll take two of those yeah. to go. To go. Yeah. Yeah, man. So um, on, on your, um, you know, we do a little research. We try yeah. to, mm-hmm. you know, and you know, we try to freestyle our interviews. Mm-hmm. You got a lot of people that have come through your. That's I've seen, you know, ask, go ahead. yeah, KRS One. Oh, well, he actually never. You know, it's weird. Um, I've only met him once, but from that meeting, I ended up getting the gold record. So um, he. Uh, had this album edutainment oh yes and um i was in this band decadent dub team at the time Ooh, i and, remember the decadent <laughs> yeah, six team. gun and their claim to fame was that um they did this song called uh six gun and it was on the color soundtrack was steve paul in that group no nah, I, I can't remember i know it was jeff laos his other white kid and that was just two people i think at that time okay and uh, like 900 Foot Jesus, yes, he, would, yes, he, would, yes. he would do some of the music. And uh, he called me, Jeff called me up to, um, he would ask me, I remember it was on Friday night when I was on Friday, he said, you want to be our DJ? I was like, what? Hell yeah. So I ended up being the DJ for Decadent Dub Team for about five years. And I produced a couple of songs with them. And then I had done this beat tape for this new music we were doing, but he gave the tape to Chaos One. And there were like two or three songs that Karis One wanted, and they ended up going on the album that you produced. Yeah, and they ended. See, what happened was they. Wow. Yeah, they the songs weren't on the album; they were on a cassette. They were extra, like bonus tracks. Bonus track. Okay. There was uh, thirty cops or more, seven DJs, and there was I think one more, but I thought it was those two for sure. But you couldn't get them on the record, mm. uh, only on the like cassette. And it went, you know, gold. So, and I didn't get the gold plaque till whatever, a long time after that. Um, at a, um, it was a, a party to celebrate, you know, you know, the, the show and stuff. And uh, big up to uh, 18 Fats and Viz. And so they put this thing together and uh, they presented me with the gold record and, you know, the rest is, you know. Oh, wow. So, yeah, but that was in the 90s when this happened, like early 90s, like 92, 90. Something like that. So, but yeah, man, I've I've interviewed so many different people, um, and they didn't have to necessarily be in hip hop. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember, uh, produce uh, not produce, but the um, interviewed this one guy. He came to the show. He was, and I cannot think of his name, but he was a um, director, film director. He directed this movie called San Kofa, mm. and um, he was from. He came up through uh, L.A. Um, they had a film school back then at the um, UCLA, I believe it was, and all these great African directors came out that period. And um, I interviewed him. Um, man, I, 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 I do want to make a list yeah. of all the people that I've interviewed. You got to, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. Africa Bambada, mm. um, you know, mm. which is crazy because, you know, I don't know if you know the story. About, What's up? Oh, man, yeah. It's like he, um, little boys. Mm. <laughs> it's just it's oh up. yes yeah, yes it's messed, messed, up. It's messed up so I mean you know what I mean like like pedophile yeah no yeah, love yeah so it's like it's crazy not and, slow yeah people people knew this was going on and some of people just say it so it's just it's just a bad look and they ain't seen him or heard from you know since then but got to interview him in ninety four which was crazy fresh uh um. Yeah, I could, man, if I could, I can't even think of all of them. There's just so many, mm-hmm. but, I've, you know, and whether they've been from um, nationally, a lot of local cats, oh, that, sure. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That that was the bread and butter, like, a lot of times was interviewing local cats and, um, you know, letting everybody 
you know, it was a home of hip hop. It's the one place you can go. Come on now. And get your stuff played. You Come know, on. You now. know the deal, man. Yes. Yeah. I deal. Yeah. I love, I'm just glad that we were a part of that history. Indeed, man. Indeed. And you know, it's something we have the uh, um, um, honor of saying. I know. I know exactly what it is. The Dirty South Fly Party. Yep, the last show. We got the <laughs> last show. I know it. In the White House. I know it. That's a big deal. It was ridiculous. <laughs> we were young, dumb. No, I'm just we knew it. But, but we had the champagne up there, and um, this this guy, Chico, he was, you know, back then, you know, people had bodyguards and so like So Chico was kind of this this guy. Um, but he, uh, he had gotten strung out on crack. Mm. And, and and rest rest in peace, Chico. Because him and his family, you know, I love his family, and he was a, a, a he, he ended up getting killed. Mm. Um, mm. And yeah, it was fucked, yeah. So, but <laughs> this particular night, Cole Chris had dropped three hundred dollars, and Chico tried to be and picked it up, and everybody knew Chico had it, but Chico was saying, "Nah, man, I, ain't, I don't know what y'all talking about." <laughs> And next thing I know, I'm all, this is all going on while I'm on the air, you know? So I'm, I'm like, kind of, you know, like, what is, you know, like, they end up, oh, Chico gave them back like 200, kept 100, something like that. He didn't get them all the money. I only like found 200 Yeah, exactly. That's all I got. And <laughs> they took off after Chico. And, you know, this is all going on outside. Yeah. And so they leave. And next thing I you know, five, 10 minutes later, Chris and Ice Mike, you know, Ice Mike would just be Ice Mike. You know, that's yeah. Ice Mike, and they come back into the into the control room, and Chris is like got this shirt ripped and got this. I didn't know at the time, but it was a two by four mark. On his, <laughs> wow. Like like wow. And what happened was, <laughs> uh, Chico was running and he tried to jump up on this fence. And the fence gave way, and he fell backwards on the ground. Boom. So he got up, and Ice Mike had picked up the two-by-four and swung. And he Chris. Plow. <laughs> but, yeah, but they, they ended up putting it on, Chico. And oh. then, they, yeah, then they came back uh, to the station. Did, and did, 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 was Chris able to participate? A <laughs> hundred of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he knocked the weed out of me, man. You know, Ice he Mike. Back, when he came back in, he was breathing like that. Uh, I know. Man, it was crazy. That 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 That's one of the the craziest, craziest things that ever happened. Was, I was just texting Chris today. <laughs> <and that's> like, <laughs> My there's, a, there's a story for you, man. But, yeah, I mean, we had all kind of. I remember one time, man, it was late at night and... Um, had pulled up in the canyon in that parking lot, and this drunk Mexican dude is walking and got a shotgun in his hand. Oh, shit. And just walking. Right down San Jacinto? Walk, walk right in front of the car. And we're like, look at this. <laughs> like, what? And like, this dude's drunk and just walking down. Like, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, I, I saw this, this, this uh, one Mexican dude. He was big. Man, he picked up this dude my size. You know what I'm saying? Picked up this dude. And slammed him on the cement, like boom. Oh, we was in a crunk neighborhood. Oh, yeah, <laughs> hey, look, it was, Bro. it was no joke. Yeah, it was no joke. Yeah. You know it. As later as the night went, mm -hmm. more crunk <laughs> it got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that, that 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 apartment that was right across over there. Yeah, yeah. 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 like you know, know. Filipinos yeah. and Mexicans, <laughs> and yeah, it was. It, you know, it was. It was. <sighs> Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, man, we we, we right. had some fun there, though. You know what I mean? Some some fun. So those are some of the, you know, crazy things that I saw there. Um, you know, like, you, know, you should look through the floor. You can see the bounce chairs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the crickety stairs, man, the, 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 on, skin, the narrow crickety stairs everybody else talk about. Oh, man. And, yeah. and, yeah, and it's a shame. That, that should have been. They should have never tore it down. That's what I'm saying. They should have never tore it down. It's crazy that they did because. You know, it, it's a hallmark, it's a landmark, and yes. you know, it, it's but you know, it's just it's a memory now. It's just you know, I went by there. I didn't even know they had tore yeah. it down. Yeah, I went over there. I'm like empty lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To be honest with you, it kind of hurt me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, no man. I said, I know. What they do that? Yeah. I went through the walk, and I could still find little artifacts. You know, from when they tore it down. Wow. Yeah, I still find little artifacts and stuff like that. Uh, so, I uh, but yo, man, you know, it, it's, I got to tell you this. I think I told you this one time. Uh, the trailer for um, We From Dallas? Yes. Mm -hmm. Man, the part where you on there, we start, man, I love that so much. <laughs> you and and uh, Mr. Lucci and Chiano, that Those, 
We salute you. Those two little parts where he says, yo, man, we put music together, man. It's beautiful and all that. And what you said, man, we start, we followed this thing. Yeah. I, I, I always thought that was fresh, man. You know what I'm saying? Thank so, you, brother. Indeed, indeed. So, yeah, man, you, you, you know, I've always, you know, had respect for you and, and you, like you, you're a bad man. You did. And I, you know, I never realized, I did some research on you. Yeah. yeah so, you know what I'm saying? So, so. You, you know, the whole UGK thing, yeah. and all, I, I was not really aware. I didn't know how serious that was. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I need to get you down and interview you about that, that whole okay. part. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Seriously. Be my honor. Yeah, seriously, man. Let me know when. Yeah, seriously. Well, we got a couple. Now of that days. I know where it is. <laughs> indeed, right? <laughs> indeed, indeed. But yeah, man. Um, respect to you, and like, you know, we've had all these different paths. You know yes, what I mean? Yes. And uh, to end up here, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, you know what I'm saying? All yes. these different journeys. Isn't that crazy? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. wild. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right, we're going to play a game. All right. Give me three of your favorite lyricists mm. from the past, oh. nationally. Okay. Mm. Um, Karras one. That's Moo. That's one of mine. Chuck D. Hey, that's, that's two of mine. Um, Boy, you and me on the same level. <laughs> and, uh, you ain't going to go with my third because he ain't even me. Yeah, w w one of them, uh, it's going to be. Uh, Come on. Now. You know what? Uh, I'm going to say. <laughs> if you say Ant Antoinette. Antoinette, she's a female. She's oh, a female. I remember that name. Yeah, Antoinette was, um, she was super dope, like, like. Yeah, Antoinette. New York? Yeah, yeah. Okay. She she was she was ill. She was like, you know, this is the um the uh, I could have said slick rick, but uh this was like that period slick rick and all, mm -hmm. all that time. But Antoinette, eighty nine, eighty eight, eighty nine. Yes. Yeah, yeah, she was she I remember was, that name. I yeah, just don't remember yeah. the songs. And and probably <laughs> that's that says three, but I could interchange it with Hurricane G. But Eric mm -hmm. G was like in the '90s. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so those would be my three. Now you ready? To, you ready yeah. to ruffle some feathers? Yeah. Give me three from mm -hmm. Dallas. Okay. Um, they ain't got to be from the past. They can be from the pre. Give, give me three hot MCs yeah. from Dallas right now. Yeah. Oh, right now? Yeah. I don't gotta be right. Now. Okay. Yeah. Um, um. Damn it. Uh, oh, original soul. Okay. Um. Let me see. Um. Think, Eddie. Think, 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 think. Because then nobody bring nothing no more like they used to. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't, I don't. It's only a couple. Yeah, yeah. I said, you know, Chris has always been one of the dopest MCs here, Cole Chris. He just doesn't, you know, his he's into something else now. Shit. Think, Eddie. Oh, um. Al Jabbar. I'm waiting on it. Al Jabbar. Al Jabbar. That boy, nice on Yeah. And what? Menace. Menace, Menace. DJ Menace. DJ Menace. But he MC. Let's do this. Oh, I didn't know that. Man, he's super nasty. Ooh. Extremely nasty. Yeah, we met Nim uh, Menace. Yeah. And he got a cold blooded DJ set. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. With on the, top with, of that. With the know? live drama. Yeah. Ooh, that's that boy's nice. Yeah, 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 you gotta diversify. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You gotta diversify. That was a nice mm -hmm. set. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, definitely Al Jabbar in there. So, oh, that's yeah. my man. Now, does he do the intro? Shout out right now. Now, who, do, who does the intro? Well, we didn't want to get anybody from Dallas. Okay. We thought about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know how it is. You get yeah. one person, they say, I mean, oh, why well, you didn't well, get me? me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Next thing you know, I got four or five intros. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, so, we got somebody from uh, uh, Beaumont, Texas. Okay, work. His name is Jay Biggs. <laughs> now, the producer yeah. is from the Metroplex. Okay, okay. And the name is Meezy Relly. Okay, I don't think I know. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, Classic. man. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. In 2023, you'll know him. <laughs> Indeed. 2023, you'll know him. Oh, so that's probably tomorrow? Hey. You know what I'm saying? You know him now. Indeed, you about to start hearing more yeah. about him. I promise you that. Baby, you got anything for him? I, I, I asked my question. That's what I wanted to know. Mm -hmm. The one about the most memorable. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was, that, that was I it. mean, such a. That's a long time. A long yeah. career. Yeah. I know you got several crazy moments. Yeah, man. Because we had them. Yeah. I mean, just eight years. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, sometimes that, that good smoke make everything cloudy. Don't it? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Remember everything. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> one of the things. Um, 
I brought a little artifact to show you all. It's kind of crazy, but um, the show is called Knowledge Drop Lessons Todd. Mm -hmm. And so um, during the years, I've collected um, like what you would call racial memorabilia. Mm -hmm. kind of like, like if you would go to um, eBay and type in um, Black Americana, mm -hmm. you see all this jigaboo, all yeah. that kind of come shit. On, come I on. just seen some in the marketplace yeah. the other day. Yeah, see, and I used to buy it. <laughs> But now people donate it to me. Mm -hmm. But I want to have a, um, a kind of a Museum. yeah, you know, a, 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 um, a show, you know, DJing and all that stuff. But I got a book. Yo, check this out. Heck yeah, we sure Yo, do. Y'all. Oh. So what? turn that over. Look at wow. that. Take a picture of that, baby. <laughs> Look at that. That's... Y'all think it was, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Welcome yeah. to America. Indeed, indeed. Right. Cuh, cuh, cuh. Now, now in the game. <laughs> this is funny. You want, y'all want to see, I always put it like this here. Y'all want to see a dead body? Yeah. All right. I like that. You know, mm -hmm. you're like, what do you mean? What do you mean? All right. So, um, I'm going to take this out. I carry this with me to, so people understand, so I understand the gravity of my situation. So, yeah, baby. Turn, yeah, check it out. Turn it over. You got, yeah. Mm. Hold on, let me put this. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Not in good standings. In good standings. Look at that. Let me take a picture of that, and then I'm gonna show it to the camera. Yeah. <clears throat> well, y'all don't think life is real. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can okay. see that. No. <laughs> yeah. You can read it on the on the cam. Yeah. So what, see that? what I think that is is say like you got pulled over by a cop. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or you uh, at a bar somewhere you put that down on the table. You know it's like a special treatment. Get out of jail free. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. So you know I could be wrong, but um, and what's crazy? I'll tell you a story about that. I I had actually bought a coin like that years ago, and I spent like forty dollars for it, in which I won't buy it no more because it ain't worth nothing like that. Yeah. But two months ago I was doing a wedding. And uh, this friend of mine, she said, yo, you know, my father passed away and uh, I was going through his stuff. And Lo and behold. Point. And, and what's funny is like, I went to eat. a white girl. Yeah, yeah. And her father, wow. um, it was in her father's um, drawer. So she gave it to me. But I looked on eBay for this thing, couldn't find it. Couldn't, you know, so I thought that was it. And yeah. lo and behold, this coin finds me again. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. I lost it like... Four years ago. Really? Yeah. So, Dang. so yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, that yep. that that right there would give you uh, yeah. goosebumps, yeah. chills. Yeah, yeah. yeah a, a slap of reality. Yeah. 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 For, for people who say the clan didn't exist. Yeah. Come look on, at man. that. Yeah. I'm, okay, I'm gonna be looking for some stuff. <laughs> indeed. As soon as you get it, yeah. yeah indeed. I'm gonna be looking. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I got. If I've got mm -hmm. two of these things, I used to have two mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. I'll donate one, one of you. Seriously, yeah. seriously, man. Yeah, seriously, you'll see yeah. it. All right. I'm yeah. on Because, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to have a nice show. You yeah. know, Public Enemy, Marvin Gaye playing What's Going On, all that serious Ooh, music. Yeah. Yes. You know, so, yeah. Let us know when you're going to yeah. do that. Yeah. 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 That's, our, that, that's that. our vibe. Indeed, seriously, yeah. man. Grown folks stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that's but, our vibe. But you can bring the kids, too. Okay. Oh, yeah, they got to come. They need to be Yeah. Oh, well, you still bring the kids. You know, just come in another room. I thought it was going to be a little. Nah, you know that. Indeed. 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 So, yeah, man. There it is. I was looking at him. I was checking it out. Oh, yeah. 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 So. I'll tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> but well, yeah. say, man, I sure appreciate you coming, brother. Thank you. Thank hey, you. But, but, but before we go, mm -hmm. what's next for Easy Eddie D? Um, I actually, you know, getting in the Guinness Book of World Records, Ooh. getting in the hip hop. Um, Hall of Fame. That would be special yeah, and that, well that's, deserved. That's Absolutely. What, that's really what I want to do. And then after that, man, um, who knows? You know what I mean? I want to be, I, I do want to maybe venture off into, eventually I'm going to leave Kano in. And but what mm. I do, I want to do a mm. podcast. But yes. it, you know that that that's just me. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'll probably yeah. be there forever. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, it's, you know, I don't mind. I'm 61 years old now, yeah. so um, you know, 
Listen. Hip, yeah, man, look, hip hop, you know, the way, you know, the youth look at it, older people now, like, you know, don't forget, you're going to be old. You better, so, wait, 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 hope, yeah. you better hope you, yeah, you get, get to there. be. Yeah, and That's what I tell them cats when they say you're old man. I say, you yeah. better hope you get here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, to navigate through that and to be here, Come on, it's now. amazing. It, it takes a, a high skill level yes. to make it through this crap. Absolutely. You know I mean? Especially you price, now. Yeah, yeah, you got a price on your head, you know? So, yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah, I'm glad to be here. You know, and also, man, you got a, you had a guest on. FSP. <laughs> That's my man. Oh, man. <laughs> I got to say, oh, me. Yeah. my man for Ness Kenny. Yeah, yeah. That's man. beautiful, man. That's my man. You just yeah. made my day with that. <laughs> FSP. That's my man. Oh, yeah. I me. You, yeah, I saw you had interviewed him. And uh, I did an interview on their show a while back. And, and uh, I bought this, you know, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, this is dope. Yes. Yeah. So that's my man. Yeah, that's my man. He's got an interesting story. Yeah. <laughs> man. Did you see his interview? Uh parts of it. Yeah. You need yeah. to watch the I'll whole watch one. Okay. He's yeah, got a indeed. he's got an interesting yeah, story, bro. Yeah, he's he's a bad man. So. Oh yeah. I love his work ethic. Yeah. That's and I love, the I love his yeah. yes mm -hmm. and his humility on mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A real South Dallas stomp yeah, down brother. On. That's it. <laughs> Can't take nothing from a yeah. sunny south. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Already. Please, man. So you got some shout outs? Yeah, man. Um for all four of you all here. Oh, you know thank you. Oh, thank you. Seriously, thank you. man. Thank you for having me here. I appreciate it's a, it. It's um, an honor. Yeah, it's an <laughs> honor for me. Um, I want to shout out, you know, my brother, Michael, who died a couple of, or transformed, however you look there at you it, um, a couple of days ago, uh, 67 years old. Ooh. You know what I mean? And Young so, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So uh, my brother, sisters, um, my beautiful daughters, Priscilla and Talara. I, just, I make a handsome woman. Aww. I'm trying to tell oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Serious business. So, but yeah, I say what's up to them. Uh, all the whole hip hop Dallas community, um, we did this journey together, and I appreciate, you know, you all sticking by me and um, keeping the show relevant, you know yep. what I mean? And so, um, yeah, I mean, th there's a lot that has, has happened in these, you know, in these <laughs> 35 years now on the radio. Mm -hmm. So you um, watch you watch hip hop transformed by three or four times. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, at least that yeah, amount exactly. Of times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen it from the beginning pretty mm -hmm. much to to where we're at to where we're at right now. So, yes. and um, yeah, well, Rappers Delight came out when I was in high school. We graduated from high school, going to college. Yeah, and. I was hooked. Yeah, me too, bro. That was it. I didn't want to, you know. And then I went to Central State and ended up like, uh, this is college, you know, in, in Ohio. Uh, and the next, I heard King Tim the Third, Jimmy Spicer, um, The Adventures of Super Rhyme. And, uh, well, King Tim the Third was Fatback Band. And Fatback Band really had the first hip hop song. Yeah. King Tim the Third, personality jock. But yeah, anyway, shout out to the whole hip hop massive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Once again, thank you all. And uh if I missed you, your name, it's because Hey. Weed. I don't know. Hey. <laughs> Charge it to my mind That's and it. not my heart. That's it. That's Last it. question. Yes, sir. What do you think about the state of hip hop right now? Okay, so I, I I'll be honest with you. I think that it is well. What's messed up is we don't have the infrastructure no more. Yeah. That that we used to have. Whether at all. Yeah. So the stores. Hey, that's exactly the whole mm -hmm. thing. Uh, it's great that vinyl is making a comeback, but every every month I get a, almost two gigs of underground artists mm -hmm. like dope from this kid, um, Sh um, Hakeem in uh, Kentucky. He sends me like almost two gigs. And it ain't nothing but nice, nice, nice hip hop. So, I think hip hop is still for the you know it, it, it's an art form, so it should be respected like that. You know what I mean? And um, you know the mumble rap and stuff like that. You know it's it's okay, but I I I like to understand what I'm you know, and I want to be elevated. You yeah. know, like a this one kid, um, Seneca the Misfit. He's he's no longer with us, but he had this one part in the song that says. Just like a farmer, I'm outstanding in my field. Mm. Come on, man. Oh, man. Come on. See? So that's what, yeah, that's the kind of stuff, you know. So hip hop is, you know, you still got them, the great lyricists, you know, he's got four eyes out of Atlanta. Mm. This dude is funny as I don't know what. Like, what's his name? 
Four eyes. Four eyes out F- of the lamp. F- 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 four with the li- number four. I Z E. Okay, I'll check him out. Yeah. I'll read it. Yeah, he's nasty, but yeah. but yeah. It's still some spitters out there. Yeah, no, they, yeah. They, they're there. I mean, females that they're, they're come on. Great. Yeah, it's 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 still going on. You know what I mean? They they try to dead it, but it, it's not. They trying to dumb it down. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, you know, they, they that's they've been they, doing that forever though. Come on, man. You know what I mean? So we 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 instill our rise. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. They they put all kind of stuff in our community, all kind of, you know. Bad things, and we still mm-hmm. persevere. We're resilient. Yeah, we persevere, yeah, man. We're resilient. So. We are, mm-hmm. and, and 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 that's what we need to get the youth to know mm-hmm. what we've been through. Yeah, and don't yeah. screw this up. Indeed, I mean, cause we leave it in your hands. You know what I mean? Like, yes. Like, it, it, this is not a game, and it's this is you know you'll find out. Oh yeah, you you're know, gonna find, find out. out. Quick yeah, enough. Don't make it too late. Don't make it too late to yeah. where you can't change that situation. That's real. Yeah. That's real. Right. Well, brother, I sure appreciate you coming. Thank you. And giving us the opportunity to bless us with your presence, <laughs> man. <laughs> because it's a legendary interview for a legendary guest. You know what I'm Absolutely. talking about? Absolutely. And man, and I will be calling you again. Indeed, because man. this yeah. is we just started. We, we, we're not enough. We're not even at six months yet. Hey man, it's you you have you, you've set the bar. Thank you. Seriously, man. I love the interviews and how, you know, an interview, it's so good if you look like, like we had at chilling on the couch sitting there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And I go off the, I don't have nothing written, no script, yeah. really. I just go off the top. Me too. Ask, that's what it is, man. Yeah. So, regular yeah, conversation. That's it. That's it, man. That's I, it. I don't want nobody to feel like it's scripted. No, yeah. I don't want anybody to feel like they're being interviewed. Yeah, that's you what, what I'm saying. saying. It's just a conversation. We just sit there talking, chilling, like we always do. Oh, yeah. Like we always I do. I wish we could pass one. And while we, but we're not I know. Thinking, I know. Right? That's all right. That's right. <laughs> but wait till we walk outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you again, bro. I got Easy Eddie D in the house, yeah. a super tight guest. No, I'm going to get some game tuned in with super tight. Yeah. I get the low love from Big Bobo, from the front seat, not no photos. 